Hello everyone, Leather Teen Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Life is Strange Before the Storm. In our first episode of Farewell. Oh wow. Hold on, I gotta do something about that. There we go. That should that should help in theory. As that gets a little bit brighter. My light was dying because I was forgetting to charge it. Okay. I really should be going to bed, but like let's be honest. I just I just wanna play this a little. I wanted to do at least one episode before just going to bed. Even though I did other productive things, I just, I at least just, Barbie? Wanted to do this. Okay, two Barbie. Strapped to a firecracker, we have three Barbie. <laughs> Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom going to freak? She's yeah. She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. Nice to know that Chloe has literally always been the same person. <laughs> oh, this is not about to be good. Yeah, it's taken a while. Nope. Is it a dud? Is it a dud? I don't think it's a dud. Whew. Okay. So what did we learn? Plastic that's burnt doesn't smell good? That was amazing. Don't shoot her down. Thank you. Yes. Some things just are. I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. Yeah, we're about to get our butts kicked. She asked me to get rid of her bed used to be over there. That's true. Uh, I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Okay. So this has definitely got to be when Dad's still alive. But they only talk about the mom, so maybe dad's at work. like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. Well, yeah. Can't believe those days are all over now. No, because I'm moving? Is this about me not telling her, or is this me telling her that I'm moving? What is this? In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. Oh. Uh, all right, that makes sense. That explains why this is called farewell. Best friend that you're leaving her. Not easily. Bonus episode, farewell. Dang it, I was not quick enough. Oh well. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE though. Yeah, this is more proof that Chloe should have seen a therapist. Elizabeth, huh? Is her middle name? All right. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in peace, Miss Doll. That doesn't feel well knowing what happens to her and Rachel in the future. That just doesn't. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. You know what? Fair, though. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever. Neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. Huh. I hope Dr. Kloenstein's okay. Our crime fighting has really soared since you created those rocket boosters. Of course, the power of flight does tend to make things easier. Dr. Kloenstein? Oh, that's terrifying, I've actually. I've always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo. 
I'm also pretty sure she prefers, you know, the imaginary woman that's on there too, but that's just a theory. Tickets? This was our first unsupervised concert together. It Aww. was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but how sick was that show? That was great. Yeah. The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. You know what? She dances <laughs> just exactly like adult Chloe. She did not get any new better dance moves. You? Any new moves? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do yeah, it. Totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> uh, Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> uh, Caulfield. Right. right. Back to the junk mines. Person stuck in time. Chloe, Oopsies. I haven't played this game in forever. And... Pretty sure it's missing pieces. We should probably toss that. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat what? your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. We never play. Chloe, we haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. Yeah, that's true. Nice try, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. So clearly she doesn't want to throw anything out. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. You know what? You know what? I'm in. I dig it. I dig it. Um, we have a camera. We have a bed. I could lie down on the bed. Jeez, we have like a lot going on. Okay. Skateboard. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Nah, get on the board every now and again, hon. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. I was never allowed to keep my textbooks from school, thank you. Okay, good. We do have my reflection in here. It's a are my eyes crossed? It's a very small, minor thing. We are not throwing away her, like, teddy bear or anything like that. No, screw that. What, mixtapes? We got mixtapes in here? Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. Uh, trash them? How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, yeah. hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? Yep. Yep. You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. <laughs> and yet, so cringe. Our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Yeah, she does not want to throw away anything. She has a very hard time with letting go of the past, it looks like. That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? Maybe maybe sweep up the pieces of that as a thought. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. You know what? Chloe's Fair. She's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Oh. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It's fine. No, it's not. Something's not it's right. Filled with holes and falling apart. Okay. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Okay. Something. This has got to be a reaction to her dad, right? What is that? 
you have know, a jawbreaker? It was a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? It's a serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Okay, okay, lick it. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no. Whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Yeah, right. Never hits. I'm not going to try to throw away Mr. Sharky. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. What did it say? I can't zoom in on that. But it was something, uh, something about the genera generous donation of the Prescott family or something. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Parents, plural. To the parents of Chloe Price, dear parents, congratulations. Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for September 2008 admission to Blackwell Academy. We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. Your child excelled in all criteria for admission. An open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March 26th. April 2nd is the deadline to inform us of your intentions regarding admission. Your admissions reply form is included. For those who require financial aid, please contact Blackwell's Office for Financial Assistance. We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe Price into the Blackwell Academy family. Sincerely, Marco S. Gonzalez, Director of Admissions. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. Hey. What about the students? I wonder what she would have the done academically if she didn't have her dad die. Push a little further. You are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know. I just I like hanging out with normal people. You. Aw. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I I hate big people. You're real. Aw. Thanks. Hey, camera. What's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. And, okay, so this is definitely before he died. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Yep. Well, at least we get to keep the photo. Actually, it's kind of cool. Well, at least we got the photo. All right, let's look in the drawer. Menagerie of Magic? There's no way. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. You know what? That fits Chloe. Oh, and then we get our nice little music sequence, it seems. <sighs> I still would not ever it's wear so shoes in my friend's room. Not ever. This room. Soon to be. Well, I mean, yeah. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventure. And She's the extroverted one. You're the introvert. I can't imagine life without her. Aww. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. Yeah, and you don't want to go. That's the other part of it. You don't want to leave, so... The longer you delay telling her, the less real it seems. 
But once she knows and starts behaving differently and treating you differently because you're leaving, that's what's going to suddenly make it very, very real. And that's, that's where it's going to be too much for you. She still has such a massive room. Granted, it's like the size of the room that I used to have growing up, but like, still. Okay, you don't want me to throw away anything, so what? That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. Maybe you sweep know, up the doll parts? What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I More explosions? I would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Tell her now. Tell her now. Tell her now so that this way we can prepare the day full of one last good hurrah. Rip the bandit off. Actually, do it. Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I... Don't know how oh, to... Shit. Max, hold that thought. Okay. I must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. What is it? Do you have any idea what this is? The mixtape from 2003? Pirate-related? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate days. I would have to agree with that. The are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years yes! ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. Wait, so what? Eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Insanity. But now we're going to listen. We're going to find, find out. out. Yes. <laughs> Avast, future Wayfarer. We have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain <laughs> Bluebeard and Long Mac Silver. <laughs> such so oh, yeah. Yeah. Project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. So <laughs> oh, lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure, you see, Aww. come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. <laughs> Clever. Hey. Maybe the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek, but be forewarned. Uh, again, <laughs> only those with pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. Ooh. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. Uh. And, uh, why? <laughs> A trip. Amazing. Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Of course. Oh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. All right. Well, it's saved. So that's, that's where I'm going to leave the episode. We're going to base it off of that. So... That's all the time that we got for today, so thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm's DLC Farewell. I think, I think that was it. Anyway, take care everybody.